said it was. And now this same Jesus who hung on that cross and died for your sins, rose from the dead, and now he stands at the door of your life and he knocks. Let's pray. Father, I pray for everybody watching this right now. If they don't have a relationship with you, if they don't know you in a personal way, let this be the moment that they believe. We commit them to you now. Bring them to yourself, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. What does the death of Jesus Christ on the cross mean to you? Answer, everything. Everything. In this life and in the life to come. Because Jesus died on the cross and rose again from the dead, I no longer have to be under the power of sin. I can be free. Because Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again from the dead, I have access to God. Not because I'm a good person, but because I serve a good God who sent his son to die in my place. Jesus has made open for me what the Bible describes as a new and living way to come to the Father. Let me simplify it. The only way you can approach God is through Jesus, and it's through his death on the cross. He died for you. Paul personalized it. I mentioned this already when he said he loved me and gave himself for me. So here's what you need to do. If you want your sin forgiven, if you want to know that when you die, you will go to heaven, if you want your guilt removed and you want a relationship with God, you need to ask Christ to come into your life to be your Savior and Lord. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to lead you in a word of prayer where you will do just that. A simple prayer that you will pray where you'll say to God, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know that Jesus is my Savior. I'm sorry for my sin. I turn from that sin and I believe Christ died for me, and I choose to follow him from this moment forward as my Savior and Lord. Would you like to do that? If so, I'm going to lead you in a simple prayer. I would ask you to pray this prayer out loud, if you would like, after me, wherever you are. Just pause and bow your head and pray these words.